Hey everyone, Kredi Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will design this beautiful business infographic. I hope you will like it. So before moving further, let's watch this video. Sign from Wondershare is an online digital signature tool which you can use to quickly and securely sign your business documents. It has got some amazing benefits. You can apply e-signatures that are legal and it ensures highest level of compliance with the most demanding regulations by many countries. So here is the demo where we will show you how you can sign the document and share with the signer. So here you have to first upload the document. So once it is uploaded, you will see this kind of thumbnail here. And here is the password which you can type and then press next. And here what you have to do is you have to enter the email ID of the signer. So let's type in an email ID here. Now we need to sign the document ourselves and then we will share the document with this signer. For that we have to sign first, press next and here we have to create a template. At the end of this document we will create a placeholder for our signature and the signer's signature. So this is for our signature then we will add one placeholder for the signer signature as well. Now press next and we have successfully set the fields. Press OK. You have to agree the terms. Press continue. Now all we have to do is we have to just sign and click on submit signature. So here is our placeholder for the signature. So here you can write now let's change the color here create so here you can see the signature and now we will submit the signature to the signer so we have successfully signed the document and it has been emailed to the signer for further signatures so for more details about signex its benefits features offers check out the links in the video description so coming back to the tutorial, I hope you will like this. So please subscribe and join. So the very first step is to insert a shape. And let's see which shape we should select. So we have picked this shape. It looks like a window. Place it at the center and we have to we have to subtract this shape with this triangle we only need half of this shape so go to merge shapes press subtract so this is the frame we have now duplicate it But before that, let's fill some color. Now go to the effects option and increase its depth because we want to create a 3D kind of design or you can say isometric. Change the material to metallic and lighting as well. So I've changed the angle of the lighting. I'm not happy with the color at the moment. Just duplicate it and you have to flip it vertically and horizontally a few times to make it a full square. So I'm struggling here. Okay, now it looks fine. So 
So we have reduced the size and grouped them together. So I've slightly reduced the depth. Let's try gradient color. Then only it will look good. Somehow I do not like solid colors. I always use gradients. I'm trying to add some purple. And yes, you can search for some color palettes in the Google images and you will find some great options there. Now place it at the bottom, duplicate it four times, five times, six times, depending upon the number of pointers, steps or process items you want to show. Now select all of these and you have to align. But before that you have to group these items. These are not grouped. So you have to make sure all these frames are grouped as one piece. Otherwise these will not align. So for grouping you have to select the items and press Ctrl G. So once all the shapes are stacked together, what you have to do is you have to select all of them, place at the center, go to insert and select this shape. Now you have to remove its outline and then what we have to do is we will change its orientation. So we are creating a base for this isometric shape. So line has been removed. Fill black color, increase the transparency to 60 to 70% and it will create this shadow kind of effect. Now insert this another frame and we will again change its orientation. Increase the depth. Then you can change the material and lighting as well. And, and we have to place it inside these frames. But before that you have to fill the gradient color. The linear gradient. And for the first and last gradient stop, you have to increase the transparency to 100%. And now you have to place it at the center. For that, you have to ungroup all these frames. And select the frames, bring them to front and now place this frame inside these tagged shapes. Now insert this another rectangle, remove its outline, fill gradient color. Make sure the first and last gradient stop has 100% transparency. And now we will also place this inside this stacked shapes. Again, we have changed the orientation, increase the depth, change the material. So here you can experiment, try different options until you get the result you want. Slightly increase its height and you can see it is creating a very beautiful effect.
here I have increased its width so that it matches with the width of the stacked frames. So here you have to try and test different things. Just play with the transparency levels, the gradients, or you can change the gradient type from linear to radial as well. So it's totally up to you how you want to create it. Also, we have changed the color of the base as well. Initially, I thought the black would look nice, but this gradient is looking much better. So here you have to try to move these sliders of the gradients then only you can get the best result. So now the isometric shape design is complete and we have to create the placeholders for the text. So the placeholders can be used to add steps, business process, workflows or the list of items you can also add facts stats some quantitative numbers as well so this is a complete business infographic diagram which you can use for any topic especially some technology related topics so that would be more suitable so we have inserted these lines here so this is a five step process Let's change the color of the lines and now you can place three items on the left and two text items on the right. So this is how you can do. So adding text is pretty easy. You have to insert the text box. You can write the heading, then some number or some description as well. So I've kept the font size small because I want to highlight this infographic diagram. But when you will create the presentation, make sure the text size is big enough so that it is easy to see. So you have to create one text placeholder, then you have to duplicate it. So that's the best part for any presentation where you can reuse the components. So that will save your time and effort. So this design is pretty easy as you can see. Nothing complex here. You have to just play with some gradient colors, their transparency levels and shapes orientation. If you can do these things correctly you can create some beautiful isometric designs so till now if you have liked this design please hit the like button please subscribe to the channel that will be really helpful you can also support us by joining the membership there is a join button below this video you can join it there is a small fees but this but that will be you know really helpful also you can download this diagram from the g drive link provided in the video description so this is the end of the slide i hope you like it so please subscribe join like and share we will see you guys in our next video till then enjoy